Hey everybody, it's your best friend in the world right there, Lamoni. That's me, your best friend. And let me tell you, something's going to happen. That's right. See, our uh, this guy right here, Mr. Ken Domic. So what, what, what's happening right now in the YouTube world? Okay, so first of all, Ken Domic decided he's going to do a hot dog challenge. Now, it's not an original idea. It's not his idea. What he did was he stole this idea from another YouTuber, a YouTuber who's got millions of views and millions of followers and is very successful. Well, well, Ken Domic's got a little problem right now, and I'll tell you why. YouTube has decided, that's right, right there, YouTube has decided they're going to come down on creators who don't create their own content or reuse other people's content or steal other people's ideas. See, the the Costco, anything with Costco on it on YouTube is a success, right? You put Costco, it's very good. Any video I've ever done, pizza, you know, Costco, Costco this, Costco, let's shop at Costco. Anything with Costco is a winner. Well, that's that's fine and dandy. Like you can make a Costco video and YouTube won't come down on you, right? As long as it's your original the content and idea. But what Ken Domic did was he stole an idea from a YouTuber, a big YouTuber, and, well, that's right, it's a hot dog eating uh, YouTuber, and he used his name and actually put it in um, the description or the keywords or uh, any, that's right, right there. See, there he is. Now, this is not his original idea. So what is happening right now with YouTube? Get to the point, Lamoni. So YouTube is all of a sudden, now you might have seen it, other YouTube creators might have experienced it where they get their channel shut down mysteriously overnight and they don't know why. And this is the reason why. YouTube is coming down on channels taking other people's ideas. Now, it's okay to do a hot dog. Well, I'm going to eat hot dogs at Costco for a week and, uh, and let's see how it goes. Okay, that's fine. But if you use the original creator's content and say, uh, whatever the guy's name of his channel, okay? Lemony Eats, let's say. Let's say that was the name of the channel. And so you put in your con in your in your in your title or your keywords or your description, you're trying to ride on that guy's success, you're gonna get flagged. Now, Ken Domic made a video where he mentioned eating at Costco. It's not an original idea, eating at Costco for one week. Now he's not doing it to try and lose weight, right? He's not doing it to try and lose weight. That's all bullshit. What he's trying to do is get on that bandwagon of getting millions and millions of views, right? Right there. This guy here is trying to get millions and millions of views. This is the guy right here. So this is one of the, I don't even know if he's the original guy who came up with the Costco idea of eating, but Sir Yacht was very successful with this eating, at, like a lot of his things is food, right? Eating, 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 eating. But the eating at Costco one is the one that I'm surprised Ken Dominic didn't didn't steal all of his ideas. So what's happening now is Ken Dominic made this video. It's not his original idea. And if it's successful, so let's say Ken Dominic goes from average 20,000 views to all of a sudden this video gets 100,000 views. It's going to get flagged. It's going to get flagged. And then YouTube looks to see why it got, why it got all these views. So it's going to get flagged. Then they investigate. And they say, wait a minute, he's mentioning another YouTuber's uh, content. It's like me putting Mr. Beast in all my titles, you know, uh, Mr. Beast, uh, it, whatever. It, it's going to, you're going to get flagged. So now if Ken Dominic gets a lot of views in this video, YouTube will flag it, investigate it. If they see that he stole this content from Sir Yacht, I like that name, Sir Yacht. It's like mix a lot, Sir Yacht a lot. Anyway, if uh, they see that he got successful by stealing his content, his idea, his uh, his name, because he put in all the details, they're gonna uh, most likely um, unmonetize that video. And there's a chance then, like some YouTubers we know, some are we're friendly with, some we're very good friends with. What YouTube will do is go back in time. They'll review if you got a thousand videos or if you got ten thousand. Their their computer will search your ten thousand library and see if this happened in the past. It could have been ten years from now. If they notice it did it one more time, 
boom, your channel is going to get demonetized. And this is happening throughout YouTube world. You can Google it. You can search it on YouTube. You can Google it. This is happening to a lot of channels. Even though they've been around forever, they got thousands of videos. You get flagged one time for stealing somebody else's idea or content. Now, you could steal an idea and make it your own. But you can't use that guy's name or that channel's name in your title, your description, and everything you do, and then claim it yours, right? It's like, I can't steal, I can't use your name in my videos on, over and over and over again and think I'm going to get away with it. It's not happening. So here, Ken Domic steals this guy's idea. There he is, right? Now, this idiot right now, he, he thinks he's going to try and con people into thinking it, it's for weight loss, right? But it's not. You know it. You know it, and I know it. It's got nothing to do with weight loss. This here is just to get views, right? He's trying to get that, uh, that what this guy got, what Sir Yacht got. So views, interviews. He thinks CBC is going to interview him. He thinks, you know, or, or maybe uh, uh, CNN, uh, TSN uh, will, will get a hold of him and say, you know, oh, my God, this was so radical. How, you know, how Reaction to my short form. Here's, here's the original guy, right? Here's the original guy. So this is what Ken Domic is. This is what Ken Domic is really after. Now, KDRC did a great breakdown. Go watch his video, uh, the Ken Domic Reaction Channel. Go to uh, KDRC's channel to watch um, the breakdown he did. It was fantastic. It was fantastic. So let's see. This is the original guy, Surya. Content of this project so far has been nothing short of what the f it keeps growing and growing. But as of now, on Instagram, TikTok, everywhere on social media, it has a combined 17 million views. Now that is what dummy doofus is after, right? He's not after, oh, guys, I'm going to lose weight because I'm your weight loss guru. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. He wants to get this. He wants to get news reports. He wants to get on WGRC Buffalo since he's a Bills fan. You know, they might call him up. Oh, you're a great Buffalo Bills fan. Oh, geez, Tewilliger, can you tell us about this hot dog you ate at Costco weight loss journey? He's after that. He's after the millions of views. He's, a, he's after exactly what this guy got by being, a, this guy did it by being original and it was a total surprise, right? Even he said it was a surprise. It was a surprise. He did so many cool videos. I've also had interviews with ABC7 Los Angeles, People Magazine, Business Insider, The Today Show. It's going to be on the Drew Barrymore Show, Fox 31 Denver. It's been everywhere. The reaction's crazy. I went to all 50 capital. You see? You don't know what, what video is going to be successful. This guy just said, he made a great video. I, I never saw this guy, but now I'm going to go check him out. He made a video where he went to all the capitals in America. Now that alone, I would that is cool. I would love that. I'm surprised Kent Domic's not going to steal this, this idea. Going to every province capital in Canada. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not going to steal this, this next. So this guy had some great content and this was a surprise one, right? It was in 30 days and this is the video that does well. I never would have thought in a million years. Anyways, I just wanted to say I'm so grateful for the reaction to this video and I hope everybody enjoys this long form. Okay, so that's what Ken Domic is really after, right? He's not after a weight loss journey. He's not after trying to be a, a weight loss guru. But what he's doing inadvertently because he's too stupid to understand. See, this is where you know he's lying about having a YouTube manager. It's all bullshit. It's not true because if he did, they would be phoning him and saying, get this video off your channel immediately because you're putting your channel at risk with the new YouTube rules, right? Everybody, it, it, just Google it and you'll see what's happening. R YouTubers are mysteriously getting demonetized. Why? This is the reason why. People like Ken Domic, they ruin it for everybody else by stealing other people's idea, not even tweaking it, like tweak it a little bit, right? Like, I ate uh, Costco hot dogs for a month. Now, that's something. Let's do that. No, he did it the exact same and even said, he even went down to the T where his wife smacks his hand for taking a sample. No, 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 no sample. Even the original guy had that in his video. He stole everything verbatim, like, like just perfectly stole everything. He's putting his channel at risk. It, it's... It's so much at risk, he doesn't even realize it. This is what I'm telling you. He has no idea what he put his foot into. If this video that he created gets a good amount of, let's say it gets 100,000 views, I don't know. I can't stand him so much. I don't even know what he posts. People send me messages. He did this, he did. I, was, I would have no idea. I find him boring. I find him creepy. The, I just can't watch him.
So I just react when people send me messages, I'll do it. So this here is Ken Dominic putting his foot into something and he's, he's has no idea what he just did. He just put his channel at risk. If he gets a good amount of views, YouTube will review it and then they're going to do something about it. And this one video will make them review all the rest. And if there is something in there that's like, wait a minute, and check his uh, his uh, title where he puts all the keywords and he puts in other YouTubers' names because that's a no-no, by the way. Don't do that. If you're a YouTube creator and your keywords, don't put things like Mr. Beast or any other YouTuber or something like that. YouTube does not like that because you're trying to you're trying to piggyback. You're trying to hope someone punches in Mr. Beast and finds their video. And you have nothing to do with Mr. Beast or you have nothing to do with Sir, uh, Sir Yacht. You got nothing to do with these bigger YouTubers. And then YouTube's going to come down on you. Well, that's exactly what Ken Dominic just did. He just did that. He actually mentioned it in this whole video. I'm stealing this guy's idea. I'm stealing this guy's idea. Like word for word. He didn't even try to change it. He's, st he's stealing everything about this guy's video down to the vitamins. He's taking vitamins just so then he's got the proper nutritional val. What? He stole everything from this guy. Nothing original about this video, even down to the fact that he brought his friend Paul to, to go eat with him at Costco. And the original YouTuber who did this had a guy, a friend named Paul, do the same thing. So this guy here just put his channel at risk right now. He just put it at risk. If YouTube catches on, He's going to get demonetized. Well, at least he's going to get flagged. And YouTube will, will check the rest of his channel. So for all, all the people out there wondering, oh, you know, there's all these YouTubers mysteriously getting demonetized. This is the reason why. This is the reason why. Their review, let's say you had thousands of videos and just one, your one new video, it could be anything, especially like a, a top five or a top ten any of those kind of videos, YouTube, they don't like those YouTube. They don't like those videos. That might work on TikTok. It might work on Grindr. It might work on, uh, on uh, Instagram. It might work on, on another social platform, but it won't work on YouTube. They, that's why a lot of these TikTokers and, and Instagrammers that post also on YouTube, they get flagged a lot too because that same reason. YouTube does not like that. You're not making anything original. It's a lot of these guys, they stick with TikTok and Instagram because they, they won't make it on YouTube. You do the same. We have, we have people we actually like who, who did things like this and, and they're having a hard time wondering why. I'm telling you why. YouTube, they see this and they see it like, um, like they call it uh, lazy YouTube syndrome or lazy, lazy YouTube creator syndrome. It's where... Uh, you're not putting a lot of effort into your videos. You're just basically, you know, it's like uh, my top 10 hockey moments. And then I do my top five hockey moments and then the top 15 hockey moments. And it's like, wait a minute, you're just, and YouTube doesn't like that. And same with this video that Ken Domic just did where Ken Domic is, is, is you reusing somebody else's idea. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Let us know what you think below. Like subscribe, share, help this little tiny channel grow. And uh, let us know what you think. Do you think Ken Domic will get uh, demonetized? Do you think he will get hit? Don't believe the fact when he, don't believe when he says, oh, I got a YouTube agent who's calling me. People, if you can't stand them, YouTube can't stand them. Put that in your head. You can't stand them. You're not the only one. You're not the only one. And they see that he, when, if he purchases subscribers or if he purchases views, which we're all pretty sure he does. I mean, who's subscribing to this to, to that garbage that he produces? Nobody, nobody, nobody. And it's, it's it, the times where he KDRC proved it, where he gets more thumbs up than views. You don't think that's weird? That happens. Like my English is great. That happens when uh, someone purchases views with um, with the thumbs up option. You know, you go to one of those places from India or China, and you buy. 100,000 views and it comes with 10,000 thumbs up. And what happens is the thumbs up comes up. Hey, that rhymes. The thumbs ups, they come up before the views. And you know, okay, something's wrong with this video. And that's exactly what uh, KDRC proved before in the past when he showed this guy having thumbs up more than the video count, and which was pretty damn weird. You know, unless somebody tried to sabotage him, then we can't blame him. Maybe somebody who doesn't like him. Like if I had extra money, that's something I would do. That's, that's, that'd be funny. But um, most likely, no, YouTube is picking up. He's put, this guy just put his channel in danger. 
Let us know what you think below. Should should he be demonetized for the, the at least this video should be demonetized because he had nothing to do with the original idea. He didn't even tweak it a little bit. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time. Leave your comments below. Thanks, everybody. There's our guy right there. Ken Doofus, the hot dog creeper. Yeah, he likes to shove things in his mouth, huh?